Um, before I start this video, I want to show you guys something. Check this out. In Classroom Resources, I put Mr. Siegel's all-time favorite YouTube videos. And I swear to God, these are the best YouTube videos that I ever see. I'm going to keep adding to them. They will make you cry, laugh, and grow as a human being. Check them out. They're incredible. And now to the lesson. Okay. Lesson 4.4, angle side angle and angle angle side congruence. And our objective is for you to prove that triangles are congruent using angle side angle and angle angle side. All right. Last lesson, what did we learn? We learned that we can prove that triangles are congruent with limited information. For example, if I know that I have three congruent sides, like I do right here, then I know that the triangles are congruent because of side, side, side. So look, I have a, a side that's congruent, another side that's congruent, and a third side that's congruent. And so I know that these are congruent because of side, side, side. Now we also learned that if you have side angle side in two triangles that are congruent, then they are also congruent. So in this case, remember the angle is between the sides, right? And both of them, same here. And so I have side angle side. And so this would be, yes, they're congruent because of side angle side. Now those are the first two. We're going to learn about three more, okay? Only three more. We also have something called angle side angle congruence. And Probably as the name implies, if you have an angle, then a side, then an angle, in two triangles, then you know, that is so rude. Anyway, if you have an angle, then a side, then an angle, in two triangles, then the triangles are congruent. So what this means now is, just like before, where you had side, angle, side, and the angles in the middle, the side has to be between the two angles, all right? And so if you look in this one, you have an angle, then a side, than an angle, and the side is between the two angles. And in this one, angle, then a side, then an angle, and the side is between the two angles. Here are your angles, here's the side, they're in between, and so it's angle, side, angle. All right, so can I prove that these two triangles right here are congruent? Yes, because they have angle, side, angle, and angle, side, angle that are congruent. So this would be angle, side, angle. So what we're trying to do right now is determine if the following pairs of triangles are congruent, and if so, we should write a congruent statement and state why we know that they are congruent. All right, how do we know that? So let's look at these two. Well, they both have congruent angles, right? I, angle A, angle X is congruent to angle A over here. They have another angle that's congruent. Congru angle V is congruent to angle C, and they have a congruent side. XV is congruent to AC. Now the question is, is this angle side angle. Well the two angles are here, all right, I have my two angles, and the side is in between, all right, so my side's in between here, right, side in between. And if I look at this one, sure enough my side is in between my two angles, angle, angle, and a side. So this is in between. So yes, these two are congruent using angle side angle. So I would say that x what is that? That's not even X. XWV, this triangle, XWV, is congruent to triangle ABC. And because of angle, side, angle. That's my proof. Angle, side, angle are congruent, and that's why they're congruent. Now let's check out this one. In this case, I have two angles. All right, I have this angle that's congruent to this angle. angle. So angle W is congruent to angle S. Angle X is congruent to angle T, and side XV is actually not congruent to angle TS. All right, so since these two sides aren't congruent, well, I know for one that they're not going to be congruent triangles. On top of that, this would be the side is not between these two angles. Here are the two angles, the side's over here. So this would be angle, angle, side, right? Angle, then an angle, then a side. The side isn't between the two angles. And in this case, the side is between the two angles. So for two reasons. One, the sides aren't the same. And two, it's not even the right order. So we don't know if they're congruent because not enough info. All right? So I don't even know. All right, our fourth kind of congruence, angle, angle, side congruence. And this is just like it sounds. So if I have two angles and then a side that's not between them, 
in two triangles, then I know the triangles are congruent. So this is an angle, then an angle, and the side, and an angle, and an angle, then a side. All right? And if you look, the side is not, not in between. All right? That's when you have angling side, and also not in between. So are these two triangles congruent? Well, yes, because these two angles are congruent, these two angles are congruent, and the side is congruent. So it is angle, then an angle, then a side. Remember, the side is not between the two angles, and that's how I know I have angle, angle side congruence. So let's check out this one. Are these two triangles are congruent? So if you look at this one, I have an angle that's congruent. All right, so this angle is congruent right here. I have another that angle that's congruent by these marks. So I have two angles that are congruent, and I have a side. Now, if you look at both of them, here are my two angles, and the side isn't in between either of them, right? It's an angle, then an angle, then a side, angle, then an angle, then a side. The side is not in between. So yes, these two are congruent, and that's because of angle, angle, side. Now, let's check out this one. I have an angle that's congruent on both of these. I have another that's congruent on both of these. And then I have a side that's congruent. But look, the side is between the two angles. And in this case, it is also between the two angles. So can I prove that these two triangles are congruent? Well, yes. It's not angle, side, angle, because the side is in between. But this would be angle, side. This would be angle, side, angle. Sorry, it's not angle, angle, side. It's angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. So this is yes because of angle, side, angle congruence. It's two congruent angles between a side, right? And the side is in between. Okay, are the pairs of triangles below congruence? If so, let's write a congruence statement. So, let's check it out. In this case, W is congruent to F. X is congruent to G, all right? So I have two angles, and then I have a side on both of these that is not in between. But look very closely. These sides are not congruent. One has one mark, one has two. So that means that these two sides are not congruent. Remember, if they have different amount of marks, then they're not congruent. So this would be out. I only know that two angles are congruent, and there's not enough info here to prove that they're congruent or not. Now in this case, let's check it out. Well, I have an angle here that's congruent. V is congruent to R. U is congruent to S. And then I have this side that once again is not congruent to this side. And if you look at it, this has two marks and this has one mark, so they are not congruent. And they're also not even the same order. This is angle, angle, side, and this is angle, side, angle. This side is in between the two angles. I'll make that blue. And the angle is not between the two. Sorry, the side is not between the two angles. So for two reasons, this is not congruent. One, these sides aren't even congruent. They have a different amount of marks. Two, this is angle, side, angle, and this is angle, angle, side. So I would say, once again, out. This is not enough info. Okay. So finally, what additional information is needed to prove that triangles below are congruent using angle, side, angle? So remember, angle, side, angle is when you have a side in between the two angles. And in this case, I want to prove that triangle BEC, that's not even E. What is going on over here? I want to prove that BEC is congruent to DEF. And that should be BAC, I apologize. So BAC is congruent to DEF. Well, let's see. I have an angle and a side, and the angle Sorry, the side has to be between the two angles. So in this case, I would have to put the side, the angle, over here. So angle B has to be congruent to angle E, right? Because now I have angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. Now in this case, I want to prove that JHK is congruent to LMN. The way to do that is I need to have a side in between these two angles, right? And so the side that's between both of these angles would be this side and this side. So I would need to know that JH is congruent to LM for these to be congruent using angle, side, angle. Over here, 
we'll have a side that's congruent, and I know that these two angles are 90, so they're also congruent, right? Because these are 90 degrees, and if both are 90, then I know they're both the same. And I need another side. So in this case, if this side and this side, sorry, what, up, what is wrong with me? If this angle and this angle were the same, I'd have angle side angle, all right? So angle A has to be congruent to angle C. And finally, I want to prove that triangle BEC is congruent to triangle AED, all right? So what I have right now is this. I know I have this angle here and this angle here. I have this side here and this side here. I need another angle. So the angle would have to be here, right, for this to be angle side angle. That's ugly. So let me get rid of all that stuff. This angle and this angle. And then I have angle side angle. So how do we do that? Well, since I can't just call this angle E because I, it could go either way, I have to name this this. Angle AED. All right. That's this angle. All right. And that has to be congruent to this angle. BEC. Angle BEC. All right. Now, I want what additional information is needed to prove these triangles are congruent using angle, angle, side. So remember, this is when the side is not, not between the two angles. All right? So in this case, I would need, I have my two angles that are congruent. I need a side that it's not between, and that would be this guy and this guy, right? So I would need OP to be congruent to ST. That would give me angle, angle, side. Now in this case, I have an angle and a side, and I need to put an angle somewhere so the side is not in between them, and that would be here. These two angles have to be the same. So then I have angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side, and so that means angle W would have to be congruent to angle Y to have angle, angle, side congruence. In this case, to have angle, angle, side congruence for triangle ABE, which is right here, oh, that is ugly, a, B, E, which is right over A, B, E, which is right over here, and D, E, C. That didn't get any better. D, C, E. Those are my two triangles. Right now, I have a side and an angle. I need another angle for this to work, so let's use this angle. So now it's angle, angle, side. The side's not in between the two angles, and that would be this angle, so angle A would have to be congruent to angle D. Now, once again, it's just always good to check your work. If you look, I have two congruent angles, okay? This angle is congruent to this angle. This angle is congruent to this angle. And I have a side that is not between the two angles, so it is angle, angle, side. And then finally, I'm trying to prove, and it's good to take out your highlight, that MYH, MYH, which is this triangle, is congruent to AYT, which is this triangle. And if you look here, I want to prove it using angle, angle, side. So if you look here, I see that I have two angles that are the same, right? I have two angles that are congruent in both of them, and I need a side now. Well, if I use this side, all right, I would know that if side MH is congruent to AT, then that is angle, angle, side congruence, angle, angle, side. Now that's not the only answer. I just want to show that there could be two answers to this one. So let's just erase this for a second. All right, let's get rid of this. All right. Now the other possible answer, don't think there's just one, is that if I had this side that's the same in both of them, right? So if MY was congruent to AY, that would also prove angle, angle, side. So there's two possible answers, and there's always two possible answers in angle, angle, side. But that's it for now, guys. Um, remember guys, eat your greens and vegetables, it'll make you grow strong. Don't drink coffee at too young an age, it's going to stunt your growth. Don't stick your finger in pencil sockets, I mean pencil erasers, no, pencil sharpeners, pencil sharpeners because that hurts. And go check out my favorite YouTube videos because they will make you cry, laugh, and feel like a whole person, if just not for a moment. Goodbye.